Hi, I'm George, and we're going to take this picture here of this house and improve it so that it looks like that. There we go. Okay, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. Check out my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. And let's get to this project. I'll start off by just getting rid of all of these extra layers in here. There you go. And delete that. And we're right back to the original photograph. We'll start this project by doing some basic photo editing and getting rid of this under contract sign right here. And also back in the back, there's something in the window right back there. We'll take care of that as well. And since we're going to be changing the actual picture here, I want to have a safety on that. So go up here to the background layer, right click, duplicate layer, choose OK, and then hide the background layer. That's now our safety in case any problems happen on this. So it looks good. And we can now get to work on the sign. So let's zoom in on the sign. There we go. Now the first problem up here that I see is that the sign is right up against that edge. I want to protect that edge so that we don't accidentally come in and clone stamp into our bushes back there. So for that, I'll grab the polygonal lasso tool, have my feathering set at one pixel, new lasso, and I'll just go over here to the left-hand side. And all I care about is a selection right across that top bit right there. Make sure you're over the top of the sign and then just go straight across. And it doesn't matter how far off you go on this one, just over here someplace is fine. Hold the space bar down, let's go down to the bottom of the page and then space bar down go way over here someplace and let's go back to the start there we go and there's now a selection in there and that then protects that top part let's now go to the clone stamp tool right here and i have my set at 40 right now that's a that's a good size that's okay and it's a soft edge brush so for this come over here someplace and watch out for anything that's really noticeable like this thing right here or that bit right down over there so stay away from those and right up in here the alt key down and choose a spot there and then bring that over and then brush right into the sign and take it as far as you can until you see the sign showing up like that and then just work your way down doing the same thing and just copying that grass right over to that edge of the sign we'll do that in a second pass let's push this up and continue on down until you run off the bottom of the page down here so a little bit left so i'm just going to re-grab right from here and click in there okay same thing again right up here click and then clone stamp in there i'm not going quite as far this time as you can see and that's on purpose and get that as far as we can it's not going outside a ways but further away and then back here this just kind of randomizes it a little bit now on this side make sure you don't go over into that tree let me be careful about that tree keep that safe in there all right let's just work down and get rid of the rest of this sign there we go. And again, space bar to move that. And let's finish off the bottom of that. And one last little bit right here. And that's fixed. Okay. That's all good. Now we have this to worry about. So I use the Control D key to deselect. And then back to that same tool. And then come in here up next to the tree trunk, but not exactly on it. And come outside just a little ways. And work around like this, little selection like that. And again, staying well outside and back to the start. And then go up to Layer, New, Layer via Copy. And that duplicates that one little bit. I'll grab my Move tool and then Image, Rotate, and down here, Flip Layer, Horizontal. And then just pull it over here. Now get it in pretty tight. About like, and that's pretty nice. We have some duplication happening right down here. Duplication right here, and there's a little dent right there. We need to fix all those three spots. And maybe blend it in a little bit over here on the left-hand side. Easy to do. I'll start off with the eraser tool for this right here. And let's just erase a little bit right there. This kind of helps to blend that in. That's done. Go to our clone stamp tool. And then for the spot right here, go just outside. Alt key and select and then put it on top. Up here, same idea. Alt key, left click, and then put that right on top of that spot. And then a little bit right down here. Alt key, and then just right there just to kind of roughen up that look. Okay, that is good. Now, there's a problem right in here. So back to our eraser tool, and I'm going to carefully erase in here just enough to bring back in that shadow and the bottom of that tree. And that's right there. All right, back to fit screen that's all fixed sign is gone and the tree has been fixed let's now merge these two layers together use the control key to select both your layers right click and merge layers okay 
Now, let's fix this window back in here. There's just something stuck in that window. This house is being built right now, so I just found one more problem right over there. We'll fix that as well on the door. Let's get our window taken care of first. Grab the polygonal marquee tool, and let's come in here and make a nice selection just inside of the edge of that window, inside of the frame. Across the bottom, back up to the top again. It's a protected area. Back to our clone stamp tool. Now be careful with the clone stamp tool here. I'm going to bring the size down by using the left square bracket key. It's possible to clone stamp from things that are outside of the selection. The selection only protects what you're cloning in or pasting in, not what you're copying from. So make sure you don't copy from out there somewhere. So I'll start right in here a little bit. The Alt key down. Click on that and come straight down. And this just works straight down on that until I see those lettering showing back up again. Okay, it's right there. Let's go over to this side, take this as far as we can. There it is. Okay, same thing again. Alt and click and come down. And then let's get this bit down in here as far as we can take it. And let's continue that until you've finished off the clone stamp. That's good. Obviously, it's not exciting in here. There's no curtains or anything showing, but this will help to blend it in with the picture. It will be good enough for this particular fix. Okay, that's good. Control D to deselect. Then it'll look nice now from a distance in the image. And then over here, there's a little bit of something happening right in there. I'm not really sure what that is. And I think we can do that with the exact same trick. Grab the polygonal marquee tool, and this just comes straight down here. And then in and around. Now it's a real small area, so we're going to need a real small clone stamp brush to do this properly. So left bracket, bring that down a little bit. There we go. And then click up in here and come straight down. And just clean that out. And then do that again. And do it a couple of times until you get that totally fixed right in there. And there we go. And a little bit right there. Okay, Control D, deselect. Let's now go back to fit screen. And that's all looking perfect for our use. Okay, now let's change that sky back there to a better sky. So that'll go right here. And this time I'll be using the quick selection tool right here. And my brush set at five. This isn't that critical. I'll just add a new selection. Then just come in here to the sky someplace and brush in like that. And it's going to grab that whole matching area. And that looks fine in here. Let's do the same thing over here, right hand side. We'll just stretch that around and there we go now let's zoom in and check this it's a little bit of mess up right here so back to that tool and I want to since the outside here this is our selection I want to add to our selection and just click into the section right here just a little short stroke right there that takes care of that I want to remove this so switch our tool over here to subtract and then brush into that section and that cleans that bit out there we go and do the same thing down here for the side of the house. Just pull it straight down. It will refine itself as you let go. And let's work that straight down. Again, spacebar allows you to move the picture. And pull this clear down until you get down into that selection right down in there. There it is. Okay. I'll use a spacebar now. Let's just walk around the edge and see if everything's okay. Looks fine up here. Looks fine there. It's a little off right up in here. So I want to subtract this same tool, just go right up along the edge of the roof line right here, and we'll subtract that out. There we go. Let it reset, and the same thing along here. Now we may need to come back and do a little bit of cleanup on the layer mask, but that's easy to do. This will get us real close and save all kinds of work. Now it takes a little bit of a steady hand right down here, but that's okay. You can always go back and again clean things up on the layer mask once we finish this step. Spacebar to move and let's just go straight down. And there we go, it looks good. And we're okay here, we're okay down here. Need to add that bit, so let's go back here to the add and click in there. And then back to subtract, and let's just clean up that edge. And you just subtract out this stuff right in here. Spacebar, that's all good. And let's get this 
taken out of our selection. And then back to add, and let's add in this little bit right in here. The rest of those won't matter, they're just going to blend into the new scatter putting in, so that's going to be fine on that. All right, now let's look at our tree line over here. It's a bit rough on the tree line. We need to reverse our selection. Right now the sky is selected and I want to have the building selected. So I'll go up to select, come down to inverse. And you can see right here that the selection goes up here and then down this way. So this part is now selected. Let's go to refine edge and just brush right along that edge and it should grab those trees a lot better. There we go. Just kind of touch those. It's going to have to blend those in with the new sky once the new sky comes in. And that's all that that needs. And then hold the spacebar down. Let's check the other side. Over here. And just a little bit right along those edges in there. And that's all we need. Now I'll put this to a new layer with layer mask. Because there's a second safety right here just in case we can go back to that layer. And then zoom tool and fit to screen. There we are. So we've now removed that sky. And we can replace that with a different sky. And I have that picture right here. We'll use this one. This is the easy way. Just, just go over here, come down to the photo bin, grab the other photo, drag it in, drop it on. And it'll just come in like this. It's going to be sitting on top. So I take this and put it underneath the house layer. And then if I go up and down, you can see left-hand side, you see some of that mountain over there. Pull that down so it's a ways down below. And then right here, grab the control handle and just stretch your image up like that. Now if you begin to see a little bit of the mountain there, left hand side, you can then pull it down a bit more if you need to. But I think that fits perfectly. Okay, let's go back up here to the image layer, our house layer. And let's fix our grass next. Now for that, let's go back here to our selection tool. Again, I'm working with a quick selection tool. It's a pretty small brush size, it doesn't matter. And here, just brush until it begins to grab the area. And I'll come around and let's grab all the brown grass. It's going to grab too much. We'll fix that next, so that's all fine. Let's now zoom in. There we go. And back to that same tool again. And switch this over here to subtract. And let's take out this bit of brown right around the tree. There we go. That fixes that nicely. And then brush into the trunk of the tree. It's a small brush size. So you can actually get into the trunk like that. Take it up about that far. That's good. It needs a little bit of cleanup still in here. So I'm going to come in just a little bit on this side. And that takes care of that. And then we need to remove all of this stuff. So again, just brush in here. And you can remove that stuff that's not supposed to be in the image. And just work along the edge and clean up that edge of the selection. Now if it gets a little bit funny, we can go back in and fix that with a different tool if we have to. But I think this is going to be okay. Spacebar to move the picture. And let's finish this one step. That's good. And let's go over here and let's get some of this stuff out of here. A little bit right here and there and then straight across here. See a little bit right in there and right there. And take it straight across, space bar. And let's finish this up right over here. And there we go. Our selection is now made. Okay, back to fit screen. Looks real nice. Let's now copy this to a new layer. So layer, new, via copy. It's sitting on top. If I hide this layer and hide that, we can then see there's that new layer we just made. Okay, show this again. And now we need to adjust the color for this grass layer. If you want to rename this, we know what this is. That's okay. That's the grass layer right there. And then go up to layer, come down to new adjustment layer, and you want the hue saturation. And where it says use previous layer, check that, choose okay. And there we go. We're going to be changing the color of just the grass. And I'll be using this grass back here as a sample. I don't want to go that dark because it's further away. I want a little wider than that, but not much. So first go to lightness right here and bring the lightness down. So it's a better match for the values of that. Just a, a little bit darker like that. It just helps to bring the color in. Okay, now on the hue, put this over here to the right hand side to get into the greens. And right about there looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit darker. Again, I'm not looking for real nice bright grass. What I want to do is have this look like it matches or blends in with the grass back there. So it may look a little too dark to your eye right now, but it blends in better with the overall image. And that's what I care about. Okay, that's done. That's all that took. And let's now compare this after to before. Come down to your background layer, right click, 
duplicate layer, choose OK, and then take that, drag it up to the top of your stack, and show that. So here's our original. It has the sign, has the thing in the window right here, it has the brown grass, has the boring sky, and then here's our new one. Good sky, grass is now green. We fixed the thing in the window and the thing on the door right there. So if you like this video, hit that like button. Make sure you check out my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. The link is in the description, and I'll see you next time.